Steve, I'm just really excited about the strategic communication seminar. That's coming so my time, so my. So March 12th, 2010, there's going to be a lot of people that are saying, you know, I do strategic or I do tactical. How can I do both? Is that the kind of event that's for? I think it's the first event of its kind uh, that actually combines both. You know, I've been in the field 22 years, and you've always had this thing. Are you a strategist or are you a tactician? The strategist sort of, you know, look down a little bit on the tactician and say, well, you're a newsletter editor. And the CEO doesn't care about white space. And, you know, you got to be a strategist if you want to get a seat at the table. And it's all this, you know, all this stuff. The tacticians are seen as sort of newsletter editors, but they take a lot of pride in what they do. You know, to them, a well-written story is every bit as important as a, as a strategic plan. Um, nobody ever seems to realize that you have to have both. You have to have great tactics rooted in a strategy and a strategic plan that works. And that's what the seminar is about. We take a full day and we talk about research, first of all. How do you talk to your leaders, your audience, your employees, whoever your audience might be, to figure out what's working, what's not, what do they need, what should you be communicating, what topics should you be focusing on. That puts you in you know, line with the leaders, but also puts you in the camp of the audience. Then we say, okay, well, now we're going to take that research and we're going to build a strategic plan. And not some huge honking 85-pound PowerPoint strategic plan that sits on the shelf and gathers dust all year. I'm talking about a workable plan that will guide your efforts throughout the year. And then the fun part, the tactics. Then you can, well, you know, once you have that going, then you can talk social media and blogs and uh, flip videos and, and podcasts and all the great tools that everybody has available to them nowadays. And then the final step is measurement. How do you go back and, and survey and polls and things like that to figure out is it working and what to do if it's not? Well, see, they're going to hear a lot of stuff, but what are they going to walk away with? Well, they're going to walk away with um, the, the basics of a plan, a communication plan, and a whole slew of great case studies to use it. What we're, this study, what's great about the seminar is that we're developing uh, worksheets. We're developing sample communication plans, focus group sample discussion guides, executive interview sheets, um, story generator lists. I mean, they're going to they're gonna walk away with st this much stuff and the knowledge on how to use it. So it's not like most seminars where you walk away and you got 100 ideas and you're like, okay, well, that was really good, but now what? Where do I start? What one thing can I do? They're going to walk away with a system where they just got to fill it out, do the work, and they're off and running, which I think is the best part of the seminar. What can you say to someone who's maybe in a small department that already feels stretched, and all of a sudden you're saying to him or her, let's, let's look at uh, doing all this extra work. Is it extra work or is it something that really will help them? Well, that's, that's the beautiful part about it. The beautiful part about the seminar is the way we've designed it. I don't care if you're working at Boeing or McDonald's, you know, a huge, in a huge thing, huge department with 25 communicators or 100 communicators, or you're a one-person shop working in a utility or in a hospital. No matter who you are, you can use these principles. Now, you may not do it as much, but the whole point is people that work in two-man shops or three-man shops, they feel they can't do a communication audit. They can't do measurement. They can't do planning because they don't have time. They're constantly putting out fires. The whole point of the seminar is you've got to get out of that fireman, you know, fireman mindset where you're just reacting to everything. You've got to build yourself a plan and then execute that plan. And this seminar is very practical. It's very doable. You don't got to read a manual this thick, you know, to do measurement. It's, you know, it's guerrilla-style measurement. It is great tactics. It is, it is good for anyone that communicates. It's, in fact, it's necessary. Is there going to be some time maybe after the official part of the event for people to just share ideas and kind of... Yeah, we're going to build in great networking time for, for, you know, throughout. We're going to, you know, lunches and everything. But then at 4 o'clock, 4.30, we're going to end and we're going to move to the bar where people can have some drinks and network with me and, and my wife, Cindy, who's also part of this and talk to us and, and share their problems. And, you know, we're really excited about it because, as I said, I've been teaching seminars for 18 years. And I teach a lot of tactics. I've taught some strategy. I've never done both. And this is going to be a really great event for communicators who understand that they're sort of tired of spinning their wheels. They're tired of being everybody's private publisher. They're tired of just being told what to do. They're told, tired of not having a seat at the table. They're told of, you know, being an afterthought in the organization. And you know what? This seminar is going to help that because it's going to give you the planning and the research you need. And I've got fantastic case studies and tactics. I mean, social media, blogs, podcasts. There's, a, there's an explosion of creativity happening in corporate America right now with tactics, with all the new social media stuff and multimedia stuff. And, you know, once you have a plan in place, the tactics part is really fun. And really March 12th, uh, IBC Strategic Communications Seminar, Steve and Cindy Crescenzo. We're looking forward to it, Steve. Thanks a lot. And, and we're at the Allerton Hotel, right on Michigan Avenue. Steps from shopping, steps from the Mag Mile, steps from the lake. So it's just a great location, great city. March is fun in Chicago. And uh, we're hoping to get a really good crowd because it's going to be fun.
I'm sure you will, Steve. Thanks so much. All right, thanks.